Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in to Dardel, which is a cluster from PDC at KTH. Uh, PDC is the HPC center in Stockholm, KTH is the university in Stockholm. And we're going to log into Dardel uh, following uh, their documentation. So the start is how to log in with SSH keys because you need SSH keys to log into Dardel. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an SSH key and then log into Dardel. Alright, so um, I'm going to focus on the practical matters. I'm not going to read all that. So the first thing is how to create SSH key pairs. We need to create them. Then we need to do some authentication process details. So I scroll down and see some, some pages here, a login portal. I need to add a key, sure, sure, sure. And here we log in to Dardel. All right, and I have Linux, um, which is similar enough uh, to macOS. So um, I'll be focusing on that way. Um, but let's start at the top. So we need to generate SSH keys. Let's do that. So I go to that page. Uh, let's see here we have macOS, here we have Linux, so I click on Linux. Um, it says follow the macOS instructions, so I scroll back up to Mac. And um, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to create a terminal there. I'm going to put the web page at the... Uh, I'm going to put the web page at the right there. And now the web page to the right. And I make this big. So let's take a look. So this will probably need to be CD Squiggle. So I get to the home folder. Here I need to create a folder. It's already existing. So uh, for me it gives an error. Um, this gives the proper rights to that folder. I'll just do it. It's, al it's, it's already correct. So um, oh, I need to copy it. But I'm just showing you what happens if you have already done that. And now finally here we're going to make uh, a key pair. I'm going to copy paste that, run it. Um, I'm not going to enter a passphrase. There. There. We have created our key pair. After registration you will be able to log into the Dell with the following command. Um, I don't, I'm not going to follow this. Instead I'm going to go back at here. Authentication process details. For that I need to go to the PDC port. I'll make this website, this Firefox big again. Let's go to this PDC login portal. Um, and to get there I need to log in via super. So that's the website that handles access to all HPC centers in Sweden. Um, I need to click on this. I need to log in with a two-factor authentication. So I'm part of Uppsala University, so I need to pick that one. Now I need to log in here. Um, there, now it's probably two-factor authentication, yes. Um, sure, now I need the super two-factor authentication number. Let's go there. So I'm looking for the word super in my two-factor authentication app, 231411. There. Now I can prove my identity to PDC that I'm uh, a proper dude, that I'm, co I'm, I'm correct. I'm going to delete my old key. I'm going This tutorial should be from scratch. Uh, here we see a key for Rackham, which is another cluster. It's at Upmax. Um, but I'm going to follow uh, the documentation again, how to log in to Dardel from PD, uh, PDC. So we've generated this SSH key, so I'm not going to do that. Then we're going to follow this uh, um, this documentation again. I went to the portal, clicked on the super link, I logged into super, I used two-factor authentication, I proved my identity, and now in the login portal I have, I'm here, that's great, it looks more or less like this, that's correct. Click on add new key, sure, I can do that. Add new key, there it's done. Oh, and I need to do stuff, for right, let's take a look, what, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Upload and copy and paste the public part of your SSH key pair, usually with extension pub. Um, sure. I think I can do that. 
I think it's in, if I browse and then I go to the folder dot ssh dot ssh um, so for me it doesn't show the hidden oh there it is dot ssh and I need to have pdc and pub so here we have pdc and pub this is my private this is my public select yeah that seems solid don't need to do anything more upload it name the label in case the label came from a pub file you can also rename the label and the IP address is seen will but be shown da -da -da. for the expiration date the maximum value shown uh, sure once you fill in all fields press save I can do that um, I'm going to rename this key I call this a uh, shall be at Dardel using maybe it's called Richel using Dardel uh, yeah that sounds good save there and now there is a key called Richel using Dardel so I did that step so let's go back to the documentation once your SSH public key is properly registered you can log in from a terminal or using putty so the problem is is it properly registered I think yes um, I'm just going to try this out now. Um, open a terminal. If you name the system, you yes, yeah, so I'm going to use this uh, this thing and see if it works. So this is SSH and this is Richelb. Let's see if it works. Maybe we already uh, maybe it already works. Maybe not. We'll find out. It already works. So I'm on Dardel now. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, I'm on Dardel. Like, of course, already it proves here. Yeah, so I have logged into Dardel. So uh, now we're going up. I'm going to end this video that I've showed you how to log in to Dardel, part of the PDC Center in uh, Stockholm, using the SSH keys. Um, and I wish you a very good day. Bye.